It doesn't feel the hair follicles are making them feel like a molecule. I say this much. Shave it all off! Except your hair loss. losing my hair I felt <laughs> to a tenement building in Brixton <laughs> fortune tellers tea leaf effect You know, Speedy, you're a real disappointment to your father and I. Won't you at least try to get a job? You fill out an application, try to go to college? Don't you want to do something with your life? I mean, it's not that you're stupid. You're one of the smartest people I know. I hardly know anyone that can guess the end of every episode of Law & Order in the first ten minutes of the show. I mean, you have to do something. Your life is going to waste away and you will have absolutely nothing to show for it. There's, there's no rush here, Mom. Like, all in good time. I'm still thinking about stuff. Thinking? Thinking about what? All I ever see you do is watch television and sit there and smoke cigarettes. Well, I'm thinking and, you know, taking notes on things. You wouldn't want me to start off on the wrong foot and then spend the rest of my life out of step with myself, would you? Oh, I suppose not. Well then, you know, just don't worry about me. All in good time. I swear, we've had this conversation a million times before. Hey, Mom, are you making lunch? Sitting in the house there, fucking around like that. You know, you gotta get out and smell the coffee, yeah. Drive around, yeah. Look to the left of you, yeah. Look to the left of you, look to the right of you. Go a little faster. Your heart's caving in like a mining disaster. The flutter lamps of Bellingham are waiting. Thanks for the latte, but I'm expecting somebody. 
goodbye. Uh, you, you don't understand, okay? Like, if, if I can't have you, then, then my life will be completely meaningless. Um, I will wander the earth a, a broken man with, with a cavity in my chest where my heart should be. <laughs> Jesus Christ, just, just leave me alone. Who do you think you are, anyway? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not, you know, I'm the son of some rich CEO, and I'm not, you know, some stud that's, you know, hung like a donkey on steroids. You know, I work in a restaurant as a dishwasher. I, s I still live with my parents. My sexual experience is negligible. I do know, however, that given time, I can make you happy. Oh, please. I'm going to pursue you to the ends of the earth, and one day you're going to be mine. Fuck, I am, you arrogant bastard. Well, it's, it's not arrogance, I just, I know what I know, and I, I know that we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. But I guess I'll leave you alone for now. You know, that's a lot to take in all at once. Just, uh, just think about what I said. You weren't even gonna ask me my name? But I, I already know your name. It's it's Abby Crane. You're uh, 21 years old. You're a media studies major at Antioch, and you're from New York. How do you know all this? Like I said, I, I know what I know. The Bachelors of Pierce Park, yeah. This is what I understand. The Bachelors of Pierce Park, yeah. There was a guy around the corner. He thought he was Dracula. One day he jumped off the balcony of the local cinema. He fell down and broke both of his legs. He shouted, I'm making teeth, I'm making teeth. The girls laughed at him or brought him down a peg. I think he emigrated. Oh, I always knew there was something desperate about Pierce Park. When a young man over 30 would never get married I blame the hop dog of brewery The hops and yeast From people in the wild beasts And to end up, they lost their mark, yeah The bachelors of Pierce Park, yeah The bachelors, the bachelors of Pierce Park, yeah Five hundred and fifty euros for a brand new pram 550 euros for a brand new pram. Hey, mom. I know we can't afford it. Hey, dad. But I don't give a damn. So hey, so why don't you watch a movie with us? We hardly ever see you anymore. Be outdone. No can do. Got to work I'm early to tomorrow. The, bank. the princess wants a man and not a septic tank. Hmm. Inside, I suppose we should be grateful. I know right well I can. Hmm. So it's five. Oora, 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 rapscallions, yeah. Oora, oora, rapscallions, yeah. Who goes there? Identify yourself. Ah, yeah, uh, no, yeah. Would you what? Come here now. Yeah. Rapscallions, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Abby Crane, I'm going to love you until there is not a breath left in my body. <laughs> 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 Around the corner they lurched by St. Nicholas Church. He had to kick his head in blood everywhere. Rub scallions. Oorah, 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 Rub scallions, yeah. Oorah, oorah, did 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 Rub scallions, yeah. Two kicks in the head for being old. Three kicks in the head for being weak. Four kicks in the head for being bad around the house. By the time we learned to open our mouths, and the neighbors used to pint us out. Like their old man and uncles, they would be Rub scallions, yeah. 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 Oh. Old codger, he left the bar 11.30pm on Christmas Eve He walked home in the dark in Bridge Street He said, uh, I had a good life, I did believe He walked around by the laundrette It was a night the neighbours would never forget He was found in front of somebody's house The neighbours were leaving the Christmas candles out For the three wise men and kids were walking about But all that was walking about was more rapscallions, yeah Hoorah, hoorah, rapscallions, yeah Hoorah, hoorah, rapscallions, yeah Two 
Trick kicks to the head for being old Trick kicks to the head for being weak We've been called a scumbag since we were eight By the gals who used to come round the estate To the rascals, yeah we know your fate You are being the conveyor belt To be rapscallions Rapscallions Yeah Yeah What are you doing looking outside the hut? What are you doing looking outside the window like that? It would be my dearest wish to have your coiled body beneath me with your nails raking my back. Sweet mother of... Yeah, but we're is coming from the TV. Jealous, that's all. I'm not gonna believe for a second. I'm not gonna convince myself that Abby had anything to do with it. Poor girl, she probably doesn't even know what happened. I just, I just don't understand why they can't allow her to have happiness. That's a happiness with me. That's something that would surpass anything that they could ever offer. Okay, they're, just, they're just trying to scare me. They, they don't know what's destined between us. Well, we got her freaked out too. That's why she's been so distant. I'm just, yeah, I guess I'm just about to be more direct with her. That's what women want. They want you to be more direct. I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to let her know that I'm. But you know what I mean? Yeah, sure, sweetie.
You fucking freak, I hate you! Two more years. <laughs> Two more years. <laughs> Despite all you know, what a long way to go. Hey, Sammy. Hey. What's up? Much for you. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, so, what you doing? Watching Law and Order. Nice. You know what's gonna happen? This guy here. He's going to murder his ex-wife because she's having an affair with his current wife, and that's like all demasculinizing to him, and he just can't take it, and he thinks his penis is little or something. But anyway, the, through the forensic science, they, you know, 20 to life. Easy. Why do you do this to me? Do what? You just told me the ending. Uh, I don't know the ending. I'm just, just guessing. But you're always right. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, oh, thanks. You know what I got today? Oh, shit. Here, here, take that, take that. Got the new iPod Tickle. <laughs> it's, it's called that? Yeah, it's the newest thing. It's awesome. It's brilliant. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> you know, you're walking down the street listening to your jams, and you're just like, that senior project coming along. Good, good. Nice. I haven't really started it yet. I thought, I thought you had. I thought you'd be done with it. No, no, not really. Shit came up. Oh. Kind of shit. I got a job. Nice. Where at? Where at? The new coffee shop. <laughs> you mean the one down the street? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Get a discount? Free coffee. <laughs> nice. Need to bring that shit home. I think, I don't think that you should be drinking coffee. I mean, it has drugs in it that are just, just screw with your head. Yeah, I guess they do. Drugs, you shouldn't fuck with that shit. You're right. You're always right. Mm. What's your project about? Zombies. Really? Yeah. Zombies are tight. Yeah. Yeah. What about them? Um, well, they represent the post-structural ideal. Right. Of course they do. Yeah. Did you find a job? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, what's the rush? You got money? Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Aww. Um.
Blurs a line.